mission marks a big turning point for NASA as private companies take over the job of taking astronauts to space. Channel 2 space reporter Roseanne Aragon live at Johnson Space Center tonight with more on this historic mission. Roseanne? That's right. We are watching history unfold right before our eyes. It is confirmed that soft and hard capture have happened and now just a couple of hours until they can actually get inside the International Space Station. But again, this is more than just about one mission. This is about the future of space. A vision lighting up the Florida sky. Roger, one alpha. Godspeed resilience. Four astronauts. Welcome on board. Crew Dragon resilience. Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Houston native Shannon Walker. So I thought I would show you some of what it's like to actually live on a spacecraft like this. And JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi inside the first certified commercial spacecraft, the Dragon, aptly named Resilience. All for one, crew one, one for all. That message transcends boundaries, geographical and more. This was a milestone in space exploration. NASA has been planning for years to collaborate with the commercial sector in advancing this private space sector. This vision, SpaceX working alongside NASA, is just a glimpse. And we're going to see many more launches like this in the coming years. Not only SpaceX, but other vehicles transporting astronauts to station. The commercial crew program is turning to the private sector and healthy competition to build commercial transportation systems between Earth and lower Earth orbit, giving NASA time and resources to focus on deep space exploration. We're going to be launching an unmanned vehicle to the moon next year. Uh, that would be Artemis 1. For now, this team is so close. And that was NASA astronaut Kate Rubens talking with Commander Mike Hopkins. Again, the docking is happening right now. Again, it'll take a couple hours until they can meet up with each other in person. And once they are all together, they will begin on the hundreds of pounds of science that they brought with them. For now, reporting live from Space Center Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.